What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about the technical differences between Muay Thai, boxing, and MMA. And you might be wondering right away, well, Gabriel, why are we not doing kickboxing? Oh, that's just an area of expertise for me, obviously belts behind me are all kickboxing belts and many of you know the kickboxing style but we're going to touch on these other three because they are martial arts styles fight styles which i've trained very often to be the best kickboxer i can possibly be Before we get to the comparisons between Muay Thai, MMA, and of course boxing, I want to take a moment and thank the sponsor of today's episode, Aura. Something I see all the time nowadays is people looking at the screen on their phone but deciding not to answer because they don't recognize the number and they are so worried about spam calls. And did you know that data brokers are making a fortune selling your information to robocallers, spammers, and others who want to learn more about you? Aura can identify data brokers exposing your information and submit opt-out requests for you. Brokers are legally required to remove your info if you ask them, but they make it very hard to do. Let Aura do this for you. With Aura, you get everything at one affordable price, parental controls, antivirus, VPN, password management, identity, theft, insurance, and more. Stop data brokers from exposing your information. You can head over to aura.com forward slash Gabriel Varga, my link in the description below, and use a 14-day free trial to see if your information has been being compromised. So let's start off and let's talk about stance. What is the big difference between the stance and all three fight sports and why are we like this? Why do we make adjustments even though generally a punch is a punch, a kick is a kick? So first off, Muay Thai. We're gonna have a very narrow stance in Muay Thai. Very often light on the lead leg, quite high through the body, hands up like this. The stance is narrow because a massive part of Muay Thai is being able to execute kicks very quickly with maximum power, but also being able to deal with those kicks. If you are down here in a wide stance and somebody blasts a round kick at you, you're gonna have to deal with your arms. Your arms will take the impact. They will help you block, catch, whatever you wanna do with that kick. But in Muay Thai, very often they check. They check to demonstrate defensive assertiveness, and then will very often check and fire back with their own leg to show, okay, yes, I know how to block it, and I can finish the exchange, be the person who throws the last technique. That is a massive part of Muay Thai. It's not all just about damage. It's about being able to out-technique your partner to a certain extent. So that narrow stance makes it much easier for those checks with the legs to actually happen. Then we move into boxing. In boxing, we're not worried about any of that. We're not worried about, okay, somebody might kick me or knee me in the head or anything like that. So it makes more sense to get in a deeper stance. And then from there in this deeper stance, my head height is lowered and it's much easier for me to move my head from side to side and to get low and make it very hard for somebody to actually find my head. Up here, it's a little bit more difficult to get into that deep squat because the stance is so narrow. So the boxers will take that wider stance and very often you'll see them narrow the width of the stance a little bit. Muay Thai, they'll be more like this. Sometimes they'll be like that, but very often like this. And then in boxing, a lot of times they will take that stance a little bit more narrow. And then we move into MMA. Now, MMA is a mixed martial art. You can take styles from all of the different, you know, kickboxing, boxing, this, that. But what is the most predominant style of footwork that we will see? Well, very often it's going to be slightly longer than the Muay Thai stance, slightly more narrow than the boxing stance. So it's right in between those two, not here, but not out here. It's sort of right in between. And the reason they're in this position is it allows you to throw the kicks fairly fast, to throw the punches fairly fast, but to also sprawl or go on the attack very quick. They kind of get that middle ground because they have to deal with everything. So the stance switching is narrow for Muay Thai, a little bit wider for MMA, probably a little bit more like shoulder width. And then as we get into boxing, a little longer and a little bit more bladed. Now from there, let's move into what are we doing with the torso? What is the difference between our body position? 
Because yes, we could have different stances, but is our body doing the same thing or not? In Muay Thai, very often you're gonna see a square body. They're not gonna turn sideways because that's a really easy way for somebody to round kick you and not be able to defend. So they're gonna be very square. In MMA, you'll get a little bit, maybe, a little bit of a bladed position, but more often than not, they're not gonna again wanna to turn too far sideways because it exposes the back and might make takedowns a little bit easier to accomplish. If I'm standing like this, harder to get that cross face if I have to come off the back arm. And then we get into boxing. And in boxing, that's where we will see that body turn sideways because they can block with the elbow to anything that might come back behind the body. They're not worried about big round kicks. And then from here, if anything comes up to head level, they can just get that slip, that little drop. So being sideways actually protects the body and the head can be evasive. And in case you haven't already heard, we are in the middle of a glove giveaway. Leone Glory Gloves 12 ounce leather. Link in the description below. I am gonna send these off to one lucky winner. Be sure to get registered right now. And then we move into guards. What are the hands gonna do? more often than not. In Muay Thai, it's gonna be out here. It's out here because it's gonna be easier for you to defend elbows, to throw your own elbows, and the priority is not maximizing punching power. More often than not, it's gonna be clinch, kicks, and elbows. So the hands out here are fine, but that's not gonna be good for every fight sport. In boxing, it's somewhat rare, not all the time, but somewhat rare to see people plaster their hands right here, They'll go a little bit more lengthy or they'll take that Philly shell, but we're gonna see the hands either out like this or in here or down there. Those are what you're most predominantly gonna see. And then we move into MMA. In MMA, again, you can take a number of different styles, but more often than not, these guys are gonna be holding their hands fairly close to their head. Maybe not palms to the head, but they'll have those thumbs almost within touching range of the forehead, and they're gonna be moving around. This is probably the one that I prefer the most. I find it easiest to be defensive and get little blocks off, as opposed to the other two where you have to either rely on head movement, or you have to pull your hands back to your head to get blocks off. Unless, of course, when Muay Thai, you decide to use a long guard to try and stuff them out or block and make sure the shoulder's high and the other arm is ready for defense. Now, of course, we could get into the technical differences on offense between these three fight sports, but really what it comes down to is we can only focus on punches because boxing is the only thing that relies solely on that. If we introduce kicks, we can't compare. And the big difference between the punches in these three styles is one of them, boxing, is very proficient because they only have two things to focus on. Punch is a punch, really, at the end of the day. If, it's, if you know, a boxer throws a left hook and a Muay Thai th fighter throws a left hook and a MMA fighter throws a left hook, it's all fairly similar. The only difference is the boxer's shot is usually gonna be cleaner because they have less things to work on and it's so much more important for them to make that left hook picture perfect. There's not a lot of room for air. Whereas in Muay Thai, they can get away sometimes with being kind of sloppy, going long. MMA, same thing. The striking is not always top, top level. And if you put a high level MMA fighter, let's say a top 10 MMA fighter against a top 10 boxer and the only box, the boxer's gonna win because he's better at that. So if you're looking for striking comparisons, this is not really the video for it. We're looking more at stance, the body, and then of course, the guard. The last difference though that I will focus on is the training required for each fight sport. Very often, pad work, bag work, skipping, that's all very similar. We're not gonna add in anything that's massively different, but we need to talk about energy systems. And in boxing, potentially you're going for a long time. So it is a little bit more important once you make it to a higher level that the rounds that you do and the volume of training is a little bit more. For instance, if we're talking about running, it might be very important to go out and do a 10 kilometer run. So your body gets used to going nonstop all the way up to potentially to 12 rounds. Could be something like 36 minutes of boxing if you're fighting for a world title. In MMA, it's not as important to work those long distance things and maybe a, bit, a little bit more of the sprints are gonna be something you wanna focus on. Also exhausting the muscles and then trying to punch after. So something like an assault bike into a run 
might be a little bit more applicable. You exhaust the body on that assault bike, you're pumping the legs, pumping the upper body, maybe equivalent to getting some deep grappling in, like really pushing grappling for the first couple of minutes of a five minute round. And then you gotta pop up and you gotta see if you can get those energy systems going again with a good run, a fast paced run. And then we move in to Muay Thai. Muay Thai is a lot of up down pace but you're not gonna be burning yourself out in the same way because it's only at max 15 minutes, five rounds, three minutes per round. But sometimes, especially over in North America, it might be three threes. So you're thinking more about that sprinting pace. I go and I stop or I slow down and I go and I slow down and I go. So it's that up down pace, maybe sprint 50 meters, jog 50 meters, sprint 50 meters, jog 50 meters. This is the thing that you wanna consider when you're thinking about training for these fight sports and making sure your cardio is gonna be on point and you're gonna be prepared to go the proper length of the fight with the proper amount of exertion which is gonna be required. I hope you guys enjoyed that little episode today comparing MMA, Muay Thai, and of course, boxing. Let's call it there, everybody. Thanks for joining today. As always, train hard, and I will see you back here soon for another video.